welcome to this week's episode of Gardener's Plot, What's New in the Garden. So as the title says, today is all about the hatching of the quail. Yes it is. Yes it is Judy. It's all about the quail today. Yes it is. Um, so I set the incubator up, which you'll see in a minute. Um, and then it's pretty much 16 days. So it was 16 day, uh, well, 13 days of turning the eggs twice a day. Um, that was first thing in the morning, then I stopped turning in the afternoon, so it was about 12 hours apart. And then on day 13, I stopped turning the eggs. Yes, I did, Teddy. Yes, I did. Um, and then day 16, which was a Monday, the first one hatched out about half past five in the morning. Um, and then, another nine hatched out that day and then the day after well that evening another egg had pipped and uh, so I got up Monday mo um, Tuesday morning and it was still the same so I sort of didn't know if it was struggling so I made the choice uh, decision to help her hatch out um, left in the incubator for the rest of the day and popped it back in with the rest that evening that one is now my favourite. Well, I've got two favourites. So that one, the smallest one is called Egg. And then there's a white one, which looked like a shuttlecock. So that one's Shuttle. So those two are my favourite. Um, so yes, out of 18 eggs, 11 hatched. And we had three um, ones that didn't hatch out, unfortunately. They must have something happened, things like that. And we had four non-fertile eggs. So, not bad out of 18, 11. No, it's not, Teddy. No, it's not. So, I've got five, no, six wild types. And then one white one, and then four that are going to be a mixture. Sit back and enjoy the video of them hatching out, and then there'll be some footage of them as they've gotten older afterwards as well. Yes, there is, Teddy. Yes, there is. So, sit back and enjoy the crowd, and I will see you next week. Or something else. We'll see. All right. Do you fit? That's it, Teddy. Boom. So today we are going to set up our Brinzy Mini Two Eco Egg Incubator. Um, this little box. Um, you get some really straightforward instructions, like really straightforward, um, quite nice and simple. So what I'm going to do is set it up for a couple of hours before I um, put the eggs in, just so I can make sure it's the right temperature and everything. So we've got a nice little thermometer, and also measures a humidity as well, which is great. Um, so I can pop that in. And so, part wise, have the base. So, this is to add water for humidity. This is mainly for when the chicks hatch, just give them something to cling on to so they don't get splayed legs and stuff. And this goes on top of the, where the water goes, like so, to stop any little chicks falling in and drowning when they do hatch. This is the top, if you like. Right. So that fits nice and snugly like so. Um, this is where you add the water, so you don't actually lift, have to lift off the, um, the top, so it keeps the temperature and humidity correct. Um, right, so I'm gonna put the thermometer in just so I can see what it's doing. So currently it's 43 humidity and 24.6 degrees. Move that forward slightly. I think this might even be a bit too big. If you let it down like so, it should be better. I'm going to pop that on. A little bit of adjustments. Oh, can we like 
behave right. Let's do that. I even have to go on its side. You will get there in the end. on the phone if you can hear in the background so clockwise let's plug it in and that connect somewhere ah. right in front of the eyes so now, we have a little red light going on. So I'm just gonna add, oh, can you hear the humming? Just gonna add some water. Should have thought about this. So there is a little level inside of the um, outside humidity container thing so you can actually get it to level so there's a little tube in the inside which will then um almost uh almost like osmosis or take the water through is that osmosis something like that anyway so you can add your water on the outside and it'll si siphon that's what i was looking for it should siphon it in through i'm just going to double check Perfect level, see? It's that easy. So, I'm just gonna leave that for a couple of hours and we'll hopefully see if it's set the right temperature. If it's not, we'll come back to that. So, for now, we will leave it for a good couple of hours just to settle in and then we can have the eggs, and make sure everything's all right. Right, see you in a second.